Hey guys, it's Beverly. So I came on here today to thank, say thank you to all my new subscribers and say hello to all my subscribers. I love, love, love you. <laughs> I'm over 400. I'm so happy. Okay. Now, I had a person comment that that they would like to see some of the hanging towels, scrubbies, and um, pot holders, and dishcloths that I make. And that's what this is about. I'm going to show you some of my samples and some of the patterns that I use for my favorites. Hey, I got the scrubbies. So, um, since I got them right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you these. Um, these are the scrubbies I made. Now, these are fuchsia pink, and as you can see, they're coming out orange or something. Maybe that's fuchsia. There was a fuchsia flash. And I got a purple one, and I got all kinds of different colors. Okay? Now, the pattern, I'm going to show you the pattern and read you the pattern that I use for the scrubbies. It's in the pile. And... I just do one, two, three, three rows, and I do them double thicknesses, and then I do a slip stitch all the way around. So I'll tell you how many I do in the center in a minute, because I don't remember. And then I got a bunch of this scrubby yarn. So I got a whole bunch of these orange ones, and they're real scrubby and thick as you can see. And so that's my scrubbies. Now, uh, hanging towels. I think the person that sent me that comment, her initials were KK. But I couldn't find her comment. So here is some examples of my hanging towels. And I'm going to break it down how I make them and show you. Now what I do is I get the towels at wherever I think they're cute, you know. And I take the towel and I cut it in half, like most people. But then I take the time with my sewing machine and I turn it over twice and sew it with my sewing machine. Then I take a piece of yarn and a needle and I sew the blanket stitch is what I think it's called I don't use an awl as they call it or an ice pick or something like that but that's how I do it and then you can see the top is the granny cluster and then I I do one, two, three rows of the granny cluster. Then I reduce it to two granny cluster and then one. And then I do seven inches of just double crochets. Now, and then I put the button on it. Now, the pattern that I use to sew the blanket stitch. There was a truck with a lot of noise going by. I hope you didn't hear it. I'm going to link the tutorial below. The pattern that I use for the top, I'm going to link the video below because I didn't come up with this design. It's just that I like it the best. And so then here's a Christmas one. Two of those. Here's a snowman and these are all made for my craft show and the, look at these Santas don't you just love them Santas and then this is the gnomes I saw Pamela's adoring crochet she got these at the Dollar Tree and I just had to have them so I ended up buying some off of eBay I think I got three of them because I had to have it I just love those gnomes. And then, oh, there's more Santas. And I love these 
with the pine cones. I'm originally from Michigan, so I love, love me some pine cones and birch trees. <laughs> and it says comfort and joy, one of my favorites. And then here's another pine cone. And an, another gnome and another gnome. Okay, so that's what those are. But I have more. But I just wanted to show you those. And I will link the patterns below for the stitching. Okay. Now you guys saw this before. This was a paid for pattern and kit. It's a Santa. I did a video about these. A Santa. It's a snowman. Hello. I made four of these so far. I really enjoyed making them. Once I got the the pattern done down, I enjoyed making these. And I got four of those for the craft show. Now, she mentioned pot holders, scrubbies, hanging towels, and pot holders. So here's my favorite pot holder. And I'm going to show you the pattern and tell you about the links. There's my favorite pot holder. See, it has a little, a little hanger. And the pattern makes the kitty cat. This is a real bright green, but it's coming out sage or hunter. But it's a real bright green. I don't know if I can. And then I made my own puppy dog pattern. And, oh, my friend made these doilies. Aren't they sweet? I got these for sale. And they're just stuck in between here. And another kitty cat. Another green one. Another red one. And another puppy dog. See, these are my favorite pot holders. And I will show you the pattern in the link in just a minute. <clears throat> these are my favorite trivets. Okay, so you can't use this as a pot holder because it does have an opening, but these, you can see the holes between. These are trivets. I love these. You're not going to believe how easy these are to make. I'm going to have to find the video link. But these are my favorite trivets. This one has a little sparkly in it. I don't know if you can see it. But these are my favorite trivet patterns. And what else have I got over here? Um, dishcloths. Hold on. Okay, so here's my dishcloths. I like to make them about 8 inches. I don't like to make them too big. Look at this one. It's way too big. Um... <clears throat> I have two favorite patterns on my dishcloths. One was a pattern that one of my friends, Colleen, wrote. And the pattern is also um, a knitted hanging towel. So you would knit the whole towel. You wouldn't use a commercial towel. And then I also wanted to mention that some of my customers, they buy their own towels. And then they give them to me. And I put the toppers on them and I charge them just from my work on the toppers. So I've done that quite a bit. You know, because, you know, you have to admit when you're at a craft show, you buy a cheaper towel so that you have, you know, more profit. Where if the person does it themselves and they buy their own quality towel and then they, they pay you some to do the work, cut them in half and whatever... It means more to them because it's their good quality towel. Now here's a picture of another favorite pot holder. This is the Chronicles of Yarnia. And this is the free fish pot holder pattern. And I love making these. And they sell out so fast. And I'm going to show you one more picture. It's just so cool. There's this picture. And they're fun to make. I really like them. And I'll link the pattern below. Now this is my friend's Colleen kitchen towel pattern. And down at the bottom, I wrote my version to make the dishcloth. 
Now this is a Miri Maxim pan, uh, pattern. It's a holiday hot pad. But I really, I haven't made these, but I think these would be absolutely great. So I need to make some of these. And then my favorite, one of my favorites is my favorite dishcloth. <laughs> and this is a free pattern by woodsandwool.com. And it's, um, I used the H hook and you chain 30 Four. and hmm. must be all single crochets and I don't really like single crochets but I know I've made a lot of these I know in that stack I think this is one of them but anyway I'll link it below this dishcloth, now this one comes out a little bit bigger. Does it have the dimensions? No, I'm not seeing the dimensions. But anyway, it's a starfish. And the starfish comes out really good. I like it. Um, and I've sold all of these that I ever made. This is a red heart pattern. Starfish dishcloth. Here's the pattern for the cat, and then I wrote dog attached because I modified it to make the dog. So, free crochet cat pot holder, crochet 365 knits, no, knit two, crochet 365 knit2.com. And I'll link it below. Crochet cat pot holder. And I used a G hook. And this is my pattern for the scrubbies. See, it's all written on all over and everything. So let me tell you how I make my scrubbies. Okay, I make two. Um, you guys know I like the magic circle. But on this crocheted scrubby, I don't use the magic circle. I chain the four. And then I double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So I use a J hook and I use that, um, what do you guys call it? Tool. Tool. T U L L E. Tool. And they have it, the prices have really gone up on this tool. They have it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and everything, so you want to get it on sale. And then what I do is I buy the ones that are, I don't really know how big, cut a four inch wide roll, so four inches, okay? And what I do is I take it off the spool and then I cut it in three. Maybe mine's bigger than four inches, I don't know, but I cut it in three. And then um, I have those strips. And so in the center I have 12 double crochets and the chain, the chain four, I do work in the center, the fourth chain from the hook and that chain three counts as a double crochet. So I do 12, chain three, 12, 2 in every one is 24, and then I do 2 in every one on the second row also, okay? 1, 2, 3 rows, 12 in the center, 24, and then probably 48 on the outside. And then I make the second one. And I slip stitch it together. And I don't really join it in the center, you know, because it's not that big of a circle. So that's how I make my scrubbies. Okay. Now, I think that's the end of the patterns I wanted to show you guys. I covered everything. The video is 14, 15 minutes long. So that's good. So, I think it was KK. I, I checked everything. I got my notes. You guys got everything. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Thanks 
you to all those that watch my videos and consider subscribing um i'm going to be releasing this video probably today the granny square video is coming up i think tomorrow and then i the next uh, thing in the newbie series is going to be the straight granny blanket and then after that is going to be the corner to corner because the reason I want to do those tutorials is because I know from my own experience in my crochet group that a lot of people will do the granny square and then just make the continuous which is perfect but a lot of them never move on to make a different kind of blanket and I want my newbies to move on so after the granny square then I want you to do a straight granny use straight doing the granny stitch and you can google that straight granny stitch blanket and corner to corner okay you guys see you next time bye